What's up, beautiful? Welcome to High Vibe Honey for the week of August the 27th, 2018. How are we almost at September? I don't even know what to say. I'm your host, Gala Darling, and it's Virgo season. In case you hadn't fucking heard, it is Virgo season. I am all about it. I got a new robot vacuum cleaner. I have a robot mop arriving today. And I mean, there's nothing better. I'm full on in planning, organization, not wasting my energy on some trifling bullshit mode. And it feels so good. I really encourage you to do the same thing. If you're feeling the call, you to get your shit together. This is the time of year to fucking do it. Mm. As always, we are going to start with an oracle card, and this week I used Gabriella Rosie's Bad Bitch Affirmations deck because I was feeling like bad bitches are where it's at, you know what I mean? And I was talking to my friend Alexandra the other day, and I was like, you know what? I want everybody to be outrageously into themselves. I do. And bad bitch affirmation cards are a good way to start. So this card is so good, when I pulled it out of the deck, I literally squealed with delight. This week's card, bad bitches make it happen. Yes, they fucking do. Yes, they fucking do. And do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? I'm gonna tell you what that means. That means you do not spend your energy on things that are not gonna give you a return on investment. If there's someone in your life or part of your business or someone in your family or a friendship that you know is just like throwing your energy down into a black hole, never to be seen again, never to be reciprocated, never to be returned upon, why do that to yourself? You don't have to do that anymore. It is optional. And to me, this card, and obviously I'm speaking from my own situation where I'm very much in a like, you know what, I don't wanna waste time with this or that or this, because I don't. This card, to me, is about making that declaration to the universe and saying, I'm not gonna waste my time on these things because it doesn't really feel good. I know why I'm doing it. And honestly, most of the things that we go after, knowing that there's really no true pot of gold at the end of that rainbow, it's not even, it doesn't even look like a rainbow, but there's no real reward at the end of it. Mostly we're just doing it because of an old habit, an old pattern, or something. We're doing it because it validates our ego in some way. Like it makes us feel good about ourselves. But it doesn't really get us any closer to where we truly want to be in our lives. So my suggestion to you this week is to do what I am doing and cut out the bullshit so that you can really live a fucking amazing life. Because the truth is, you only have so much time, you only have so much energy, and you might as well use it on something that's going to feel really good and lead to really positive things. So that's what this card is about to me. It's about cutting out the bullshit straight up and being like, you know what, I don't have time for this. I'm not even interested in this. I'm just recognizing where I'm bored, where I want a little ego stroke, where I'm doing busy work instead of the real work that I should be doing, and cutting it the fuck out. And if that is not a celebration of Virgo season, I don't know what is. P.S. I'm a Virgo. So if you wanna make your resident Virgo, me, happy, let's cut the bullshit. Let's cut the bullshit. And by the way, it's my birthday on September 13th, so if you'd like to buy me gifts, shower me with roses, whatever, holler at your girl and I'll send you my address. <laughs> okay, now our cards for the week are really interesting. So you may recall that for the past month, two months in fact, we have been pulling beautiful card after beautiful card. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Two of Cups, Soulmate, Big Love, True Connection, all kinds of like delicious things. And one thing that I want you to know about tarot card pulls and all of this stuff is just because I say like this is the Wish Fulfillment card for last week, for example, and this is the Two of Cups and this is Soulmate Energy, blah, blah, blah. 
Just because I say that on that week doesn't mean it's going to come to its full fruition in that week. What it really means is that these things are on their way to you. And you may not see the full culmination of that in the week, but it's coming, right? So it's really, it's a beacon. It's an omen for a positive, beautiful future. So this card or these cards that I've pulled for you this week are kind of similar in nature. And because they're a little tricky this week, I want you to remember the cards from the last few weeks because we've had such amazing things come through. So I want you to remember that those things are still either coming or have arrived for you. So these cards are a little bit like, hmm, things that make you go, hmm. But I think you're going to know exactly what this is about. And I don't think any of these are going to be a surprise to you. But it's a really interesting spread. Really interesting spread. So. This week, I've used the Holly Simple Tarot. It just felt like the right thing. And here is what I pulled. The Two of Swords, the Star, and the Ten of Swords. Now, these cards don't look too happy. They don't look too thrilled. This, firstly, this one is swords in your fucking eyeball. It's not that cool. And this one is swords in your fucking head and your bleeding eyes and a bleeding third eye. Like, oh my God. So here is my interpretation of what this is all about. Don't stop the video thinking like, oh my God. No, 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 I promise you it's all good. And these cards actually, it's all good stuff. So just chill, just fucking relax, okay? Just fucking relax. The Two of Swords is a card about making a choice. It's a card that says, baby, it's time to really look at the plate of your life and ask yourself, is this thing what I want or do I want something different? The Two of Swords says to us, please stop avoiding making this decision because it's actually really important. This is a decision that might change the whole course of your life. It's very important that you make this decision. Now, last week, we got a card, Four of Cups, in fact, that was all about looking at the options and going within to discover the right answer for you. This is no different. This card is like, do the research, look at the options, think about what is going on. And especially because it's a card of swords, it's about the intellect, right? So it's about using your logic and your practical side to really ascertain what the best decision is here. But I want you to meditate this week and remember, just like last week, to go inside and ask yourself what the right answer is. Ask yourself what the right thing is to do in this situation. If you're feeling nervous about this, if you're feeling confused about this, what I really want you to remember this week is that the universe is conspiring to shower you with blessings all the time. The universe is consistently leaning towards you, giving you little nudges, trying to get you closer and closer to the things that you want. And the only time that you don't get things that you want is when you resist them, when you continually think fearful thoughts, when you obsess about what you don't have rather than being grateful for what you do have. Let's be real. I have been talking about gratitude on the internet since 2006. That is 12 years of preaching about Gratitude. I am not going to stop anytime soon. Gratitude is the most essential practice for changing your life. Whenever I do an interview and people say, what is the first thing that you recommend to someone who wants to get into radical self-love? The first thing I always say is be grateful for what you fucking have. Oh my God, so many of us are walking around in a constant state of scarcity, a constant state of fucking measuring what we don't have yet and going, where the fuck is it? And being impatient and being crazy. And 
really ignoring the multitude of blessings that we have around us. Look at this intense hand. Multitude of blessings. We get so hung up on what we don't have yet and it just ruins everything. So we want you to remember that the universe is always trying to help you and the only time that it cannot help you is when you refuse to be grateful. And that leads us to our next two cards. The Two of Swords says it's time to make a choice. And these two cards represent what those two options lead to. Now, here is the plot twist. Both of these cards actually lead to beautiful, amazing, fantastic things. But one way is about getting there easily, joyfully, smoothly. <laughs> and the other option is about learning it the fucking hard way. Do you need to learn everything the hard way? I would say, no, you don't. But it's up to you. So let's look at the numerology of the star. The star is number 17 in the tarot deck, which is one plus seven, which takes us to eight. And eight is the card of strength. Eight is the strength card in the tarot deck. And to me, this is all about the strength to accept yourself as you are and to love your flaws. I bought a hat the other day that says, I'm perfect on it. And I love wearing it because you know what? We have been telling ourselves we are imperfect and we're fucked up and we need to work on this and we need to improve that and blah, blah, blah forever. Probably most of us for our entire lives. And you know what? It's not working. Let's tell ourselves that we're perfect as we are. Why can't we just sink into that? Why don't we adopt that as our new fucking mantra? I'm telling you now, if you're telling yourself I'm perfect every day, that will get you to where you want to go way faster than being like, uh, I'm okay, I guess. Or why did you do that? You're stupid. Or whatever dumb fucking thing you're telling yourself every day that is not serving you. It's not getting you closer to where you want to be. So cut it the fuck out. Virgo season is about cutting it the fuck out. Virgo season has no time for your bullshit and your self-pity and your self-judgment and your flagellation. It's time to level the fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> so, why am I so intense? This is so over the top. Okay. The star tells us that there is a better future available to us and that we have to trust the universe, that we will not receive this better future, that it will not arrive in the post if we don't trust that it's coming and if we don't believe that it's possible. We really have to step up our fucking game and really appreciate who we are, luxuriate in the bliss of being you because you're fucking awesome. Awesome. Do you know how fucking cool you are? You don't even know. Ugh. So let me tell you, you're a bad bitch. So stop pretending otherwise. It's lame. I don't have time for it. I don't want to listen to it. I want to be around it. Step it the fuck up. Just like I am stepping it the fuck up. This Virgo season, you don't even know. I'm going to be like a blaze of light. I'm going to be a shooting fucking star. And you're gonna be like, oh my God. And then you are gonna do the exact same thing. It's time, let's inspire each other. Let's inspire each other. Come walk out on this gangplank with me and let's dive in to the abyss of cosmic possibility. The star is a hot card. The star is about healing, transformation, forgiveness. It's about having more self-esteem. It's about having more trust in yourself. It's about achieving goals. It's about realizing how respected you are and how fucking brilliant you are and being generous and all of these good things. It's about looking at the past and being like, you know what, I'm moving on, I'm forgiving, I'm forgetting. I don't need to hold on to this pain anymore. It's not serving me. The star is a great card. It's a really, really great card. And this is one of the options so when you're in the woods and the paths are diverging, right? Old poem, blah, blah. 
if you're in this place, which you're about to be in this place, where you're gonna have to make a decision. You get to choose the power the fuck up card, which is doing the work on yourself, cutting off the things that are no longer serving you, being thoughtful about where you put your energy and really investing in yourself and taking your own work in yourself seriously. This is a serious pursuit. This is not for fucking basic bitches. This is for people who really wanna up level like a motherfucker. This is like some real shit. Get out of here with your like basic life and your whatever the fuck you're doing with your lame fucking life. This is about stepping it up. The other option to get to the same place is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is like, holy shit, it's all falling apart. The Ten of Swords is sudden disaster. The Ten of Swords is betrayal. The Ten of Swords is feeling like a motherfucking victim. Do we have time for that this Virgo season? No, we do not. No, we do not. Virgos do not want to hear your sad little pity party story. We want you to recognize what's going on, take responsibility, write a fucking list, and get moving. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The good news is that no matter which path you choose, it'll get you to the place you want to be, which is everything's going to be good. You're gonna feel like there's a sense of rebirth. You're going to realize your purpose. You're going to feel whole. You're going to feel complete. But you get to choose how you're going to get there. You get to go there the hard way or the easy way. And the easy way is like doing the work on yourself and the hard way is putting your head in the fucking sand, ignoring the signals, ignoring the signs, ignoring your intuition, and then being so surprised when it all comes crumbling down. It doesn't have to crumble down unless you willfully ignore what's going on around you. Don't ignore what's going on around you. There are signs, there are messages, these things are happening for a reason. This video is a fucking message to take some action and get really proactive in your life. If you are not meditating regularly and doing things to reset your body and your mind, then you are playing yourself. One thing that I've learned recently is that the hormones of stress cause us to focus on the worst case scenario. When you're stressed out, the hormones in your body literally point you towards looking at everything that's going wrong and freak out about it and obsess about it, which is not that awesome. So this is a really important reason to meditate and do whatever you need to do to de-stress on a regular basis. Whether it's taking Epsom salt baths, whether it's yoga, whether it's exercise, whether it's laughing, whether it's meditation, I don't care what the fuck you do. As long as you are doing something to reduce the levels of stress in your body, because when you reduce Reduce the levels of stress in your body. It's easier to be optimistic. It's easier to be positive. And when you feel good, your body can heal itself. You can see the forest for the trees and you can make decisions that really support you and help you rather than dragging you down into the mud. So really, 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 it's so important to look after yourself and do whatever you need to do to de-stress on a regular basis. Please don't neglect this part of your life. It is so, so important. So my final message for all three of these cards is to ask yourself, if you are in a quandary and you're like, I don't know what to do, what do I do? Ask yourself, is this action going to lead me to my desired outcome or not? Start asking yourself that all the time. It amazes me how few people really do this in their own lives. And it's the easiest way to decode your shit and be like, hmm, if I do this thing, what are the consequences? What does this lead to? What does this path look like in a month's time, in a year's time, in 10 years time? That's why it's really important that we're mindful about our choices. You know, eating flaming Hot Cheetos every day right now might seem fine when you're like 22 years old and you have the metabolism of like a hornet. <laughs> but if you look at this behavior and you continue to repeat it 10 or 20 years into the future, you're gonna look like a flaming Hot Cheeto. Same color and everything. And you're gonna upset people's digestion just as much. So really like map things out. Look at what the future holds. Tip from a Virgo. So what could we possibly tap on this week that would help everyone? Because I can't make these decisions for you and I can't hold your hand through the decision-making process, but 
We can let go of this need to learn things the hard way. <laughs> so that is what we're tapping on today. Even though I feel like I need to learn things the hard way, forgive myself. I don't need to do that anymore. Repeating after me. Even though I have this amazing habit of learning things the hard way, I deeply and completely love and accept and forgive myself. Even though I always have to do it the difficult way. Who knows why that is? Maybe I'm just stubborn. I definitely hate doing what people tell me to do. God, that is so annoying. Why does everyone think they know what's best for me? But sometimes this contrarian attitude actually gets in the way of my life. Sometimes people will give me blatant warnings and I'll proceed anyway. And I just end up creating more drama in my life. In fact, maybe this is about needing drama in order for my life to be interesting. Needing to create problems where there really aren't any. Because I feel like if I don't have anything to complain about, maybe I won't be that interesting. Maybe my friends won't have anything to talk to me about. That would suck. Maybe I learn things the hard way because I think it makes me more interesting. And it gives me something to talk about. And when I have something to talk about, people give me more attention. I feel more significant. which is a pretty shitty habit. I don't wanna feel that way anymore. I think I wanna give up my drama addiction. Don't tell anyone. Okay, I feel like this is gonna be a big one for a lot of us, so let's drink. And then we are going to start tavern, starting on the top of the head. Even though I have this need to learn things the hard way, and that is such a bummer, I deeply and completely love and accept and forgive myself. Even though I love to learn things the hard way, I love to just punish myself needlessly. I love to just make my life tricky as fuck. Just for fun. Just for thrills. Just cause I can. Mm. Even though I do this around a lot of things, maybe even around most things, I forgive myself because I probably learned it somewhere. Maybe my parents, maybe television. The truth is it doesn't really matter where it came from. All that matters is that I want to let go of it. Because my life could be really simple and really joyful and really easy if I didn't insist on learning things the hard way. And so I'm ready to let that go as an idea. I don't need to do that anymore. And I'm also ready to let go of the need for a bit of drama. Just 
just to keep life interesting. I kind of love having a problem. Because it gives me things to talk about. And my friends have to be a captive audience when I have a problem. Because if they don't, then they're bad friends. And then I get to judge them and be the better person. And I just, I love having a little bit of like trouble. I love being in a good love triangle or having a problem with my boss or struggling with my looks or refusing to make a decision that I know would actually help me but I put it off and I'm indecisive because it's more fun that way because I love the attention and sometimes when there's no drama I feel kind of lost like I don't know what to do with myself and so I end up creating drama where there is none just because I need something to do. And this is a really shitty habit. I'm so over it. I am better than this. And for Virgo season, I resolve to cut it the fuck out. I don't need to create trouble in my life. I am super interesting without drama and problems. I don't need to learn things the hard way. I am fucking smart. I can pay attention to the signs and the signals. I can look at what other people have done and model myself on that. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's really easy for me to learn things the easy way. I don't have to struggle. No matter what I saw growing up, struggling is a choice. Struggling is a mindset. And I'm ready to not be in that mindset. I choose for my life to be easy and joyful. I choose to give up my drama addiction and all the people that come with it. Mm, they're gonna have to find a new hobby, a new person to complain with because I am not about it anymore. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I choose to live an easy life and so it is. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed that tapping. I know that's kind of a big subject, letting go of the need for things to be difficult and the addiction to drama. A lot of us have that and struggle with it and we don't have to do that anymore. So fuck it, let's let it go. Let's leave it in the past. So again, same deal. As the last couple of weeks I want you to comment below with something that you are manifesting and I want you to phrase it in the past tense as if it's already happened like I'm so excited that my book launch was such a massive astronomical success and get really juicy with the description paint us a really vivid picture and then come back and comment on somebody else's manifestation and let them know that you see it polish up their crystal for them and make it really beautiful. That's what we've got this week for High Vibe Honey. I will be back next week. I hope this was helpful for you. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think and don't forget to share this with your friends if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you get all my videos as soon as they go up. Yes, honey. Okay, have a beautiful week. Remember that these cards all lead to the same place and the place that they lead to is super beautiful but you get to choose how difficult the path is 
Choose an easy path. It's so much better. I love you. I feel kind of like Dolly Parton on acid. You know what I mean? Which is actually like a great vibe.